hi guys welcome back to my channel and today i'm shooting a very um special video to those who would love to do actuarial science or maybe just anyone who would want to know more about actuarial science that study and just the career as a whole so two days ago on my instagram um, I gave people an opportunity to ask me anything about actuarial science and I had about maybe six questions and I just wanted to address those on my channel because um, as I've mentioned in my introduction video to this channel, I say that one of my main purposes is actually to just help people explore more about actuarial science, whether it's how I live my life as an actuarial scientist or as a student, or just, you know, talking more about it as a career or as a study. So yeah, the first person asked the question, what is, that, what is actuarial science about and what is your job as an actuarial scientist? So yeah, so I think I have a video that I shot maybe six months ago um, about what actuarial science is about. I think it's called how I discovered my dream career. And I've sort of explained that on there, but just to go through that again. So basically actuarial science is a study of um, um, mathematical methods that people use to actually calculate risk or to calculate the probabilities of an event occurring. And so what actu what actuaries do, because they're actually called actuaries, so what actuaries do is, is um, so they use data and develop models to actually um, give a probability of an event occurring and as a result then they can set prices they can set premiums and rates to charge for a specific individual or a group of individuals so from this definition you can see that most actuaries would work in insurance companies and investment banking this is because in insurance companies actuaries are actually the ones who set rates and these rates are used to charge premiums and so forth so yes insurance companies definitely do depend on actuaries uh, on actuaries a lot and that's basically what they do they are the ones in charge of that they are behind the mathematics they are behind the modeling of the systems that actually help insurance companies charge appropriate rates to their clients so in a way that they don't make losses but then also um they don't overcharge their clients um the next question is who does it benefit um so as i've mentioned so most actuaries do work in insurance companies and um insurance companies do make up a huge part of our you know financial world or just you know our everyday lives you know uh, we have life insurance we have property and casualty we have health insurance these are the things that you know people depend on so basically the health insurance that we have um life insurance that people have this is all actuarial work most of this is basically actuarial scientists working extremely hard to make sure that this goes well definitely does benefit um everyone who's on any type of insurance and even if you don't own any type of insurance i'm sure you are on your parents insurance maybe medical aids or you know you go to the bank when you go to the bank and they give you all kinds of rates for their financial products actuaries have a lot to do with this you know this they study the appropriate models to develop to actually set the rates in the banks and all of that so definitely they do benefit the financial market and the, just the financial world in general and you as an individual the third question is what do you like most about actuarial science personally what i like most about actuarial science is definitely the content of the career so um i do enjoy doing math and most importantly i do enjoy interpreting mathematical models so that's one of my biggest reasons as to why i chose to do actuarial science like i said in my previous video 
um, I discovered actuarial science in 2013 and that has been my dream career ever since. So um, I enjoy I enjoy interpreting interpreting um, um, mathematical models because I love communicating. So basically as an actuary, I would love to be that link between you know the technicalities of mathematics and so forth and the business world so being that link that's what i would love to be in the actuarial science world and and the process in general because i then i then had an actuarial science actual i then had an actual actuarial science job yet but i'll be going to do my internship in few days for three months and i believe it's gonna be a really life defining experience and just a really huge learning experience for me because this will be my actual experience in the real world of actuarial science so yeah um what i like most about being an actuarial student i will say is just the ability, the character building in the process of being one, because we do write a lot, a lot of exams and you do extensive classes as well. So in general, I do enjoy having a routine, having something to look up to every time I wake up because I do enjoy the classes that I take. So being a really busy person in that sense, I just really enjoy the process of studying for these exams because it teaches you a lot about perseverance. It teaches you a lot about just having faith and passion um, in what you really want to do. And that's what I really enjoy about actuarial science question is how many years do I need to study to obtain an actuarial science degree if I have a financial mathematics degree um I think this person is asking from Namibia and um I'm not sure exactly how it works well I have a few friends who are studying in South Africa but I'm not sure of the actual or like specifics about the actuarial science degrees in south africa but i can tell you where i am which is usa i know that for you to have an actuarial science degree you just need to complete the courses that are required for actuarial science and i know that the american educational system is a bit different in a sense that you need to reach a specific number of credits for you to graduate with a degree so um, doesn't matter what kind of degree you have already, you can definitely transfer credits to your college. So for example, I did the IB, which is just like post metric, but I came in with about four credits, I think. And those credits helped me a lot to put in other things that I could do in my degree. So right now I'm double majoring in actuarial science and math, and I'm also triple minoring in data analytics, computer science, and leadership. So that allowed me to just bring in this extra stuff because I'm attending a liberal arts college and I can be flexible to do all these minors and majors. But definitely, um, I think with the USA, it's more about how many credits you are gonna have in the time that you want to graduate than about the degree that you have. But I know that when I had uh, this conversation with one of my friends studying at UCT, she did say that um, sometimes you do like a four year degree related to what you what you related to actuarial science, and then you can do two years of actual actuarial science and then i think you go to field experience or something like that so yeah it's it's a whole process for south africa and if you want to know more information i can connect you with this person but with the usa yes with your degree like i'm doing four years um if you already have your degree you can come in with credits transferable credits but i think your years here will still depend on how many credits you come in or how many that are, they approve so um the next question is, which is the best place to study actuarial science? Honestly, I cannot really decide like which place is best because universities are different. If you're asking in terms of countries, um, different countries also have different um, regulations and 
just a different protocol when it comes to obtaining actuarial science qualification. So basically with actuarial science, it's more than just you obtaining your degree. With actuarial science, we have what we call professional exams, and these are very important in the career. So the exams and the experience is what really matters in the actuarial science career. I think you write about four or five preliminary really hard exams, and these exams will get you to be a fellow. So in USA, you can become a fellow depending on um, you know what kind of field you actually oh depending on what kind of industry you actually want to get into so for example if you want to get into life insurance if you want to get into pnc if you want to get into health and so forth and then after you obtain your fellow then you specialize into even more advanced exams depending on the road that you are taking so yeah um best place to study it really just depends on your preference one of the reasons why i chose usa it's just because of the insurance industry here um usa is a capitalist country and we definitely have a very 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 huge insurance industry like the insurance industry is extremely huge here and that means that actuarial science is in high demand in usa and it's a, it's a lucrative job in usa um um you know it's just I prefer to study here because of the market basically and definitely just the road as well. I think it's not as complicated. Once you have your degree, you become an actuarial student, but also as a full-time employee and you just keep passing your exams. Companies continue to support you with passing your exams and then you just keep going further and higher. So I think I really just understood the process better and I chose to study here. But definitely other countries are just as good. It just depends on your personal goals, you know. Um, UK and Know that south africa uses sort of the british system so their systems are sort of alike so if you wanna do more of you know something that's related to that i like i said i can connect you to this friend of mine so yeah the next question is job market so how is the job market for actuarial science in namibia in usa so like i said um usa in general the job market for actuarial science is really high i know that actual uh, like actuaries in usa they are in demand they are valuable their skills are extremely extremely valuable um and um even though it's really hard the journey is really hard it's definitely worth it that's one thing for sure it's definitely worth it we have insurance companies but we also have one of the biggest investment banks around the world like especially in the eastern coast like there's a lot of actuarial science things going on there this uh, and you can definitely um just explore different kinds of industries like for example i have mentors you know they just give me some ideas of what they do and most of them are based in the eastern coast so like new york pennsylvania and all of that um in terms of namibia um the job market in namibia i will say that we ha we really do have actuaries in namibia but then of course we do not have a lot of them this is because most of our major insurance companies are actually either south african based or maybe uk based and because of that um last time that uh, i had last time i had an interview with an actuary from sunlam he told me that um most of their actuarial work they actually outsource it from south africa so if you want to study actuarial science which we even don't have in namibian universities you definitely studied in south africa and i'm sure you also have some sort of field experience in south africa and then you can extend and transfer your skills and expertise to the namibian market definitely there's a lot of work that needs to be done in the namibian market when it comes to actuarial science especially if we want to um develop our own insurance companies local insurance companies local invents in investment banks we, if we want to be that self-sufficient then we need actuarial science expertise to actually develop this financial world in the namibian economy so yeah um it's not that much but definitely we do have actuaries in namibia and i know that they travel a lot to south africa and they work with you know the south african branches to just make sure that they have the the actual the actuarial work running effectively i also know that um recently i discovered that we have an actuarial firm in namibia which is 
really huge progress i haven't done much research on that but definitely i've been looking forward to networking and just connecting with a few actuaries in namibia so i'm excited to actually get in touch with a few of them with a few of them and just get to know more about the market in namibia so yeah i think those were the questions that people asked um i haven't really received a lot of questions but with that said um I really do enjoy talking about my passions. I do enjoy talking about actuarial science in general. So if any of you guys want to ask or just know a little bit more, you can definitely comment or just hit me up on social media. I'm always willing to answer any questions that people have um, regarding actuarial science, either as uh, a study or just, you know, as a career in general. So yeah, thank you guys for tuning in and I will see you next time. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,